All right, let's uh, just kind of make sure that it's, it's uh, zoomed in properly. All right, so let's work on these birds. So I have here, we're going to use an orange and kind of black for those, for the birds. So let's work with cadmium red light and cadmium yellow light with raw umber in here. So we can darken, this is, the, don't worry about this. This is uh, just kind of, I was trying colors. Um, instead of yellow ochre, we're going to use cadmium red light and cadmium yellow light and for the first layer I'm just going to take a touch of raw umber slowly I'm using a round small brush yeah this is good this is good this is a good color okay and let's paint the the birds this orangey color and we'll put the black over it or the dark brown over that but just kind of get the shape going let's take a bit of more I need to darken this a little bit more so I can have a dark base color and then I can highlight part of it So one bird is looking down and the other one is on the side. And at this point, I'm going to take, I'll, I'll do this and then I, I'll, I'll stop. I'm going to take raw umber. Actually, I should wait because this is wet right now. Did you zero in on the birds? Yep. I'll, I'll do that in a minute. All right, I'm going to pause for a minute and then I'll zoom in and we'll take it from there. Okay. So now we have an orange, kind of a darker kind of orange. Uh, to, I, I, I'm going to use raw umber just to place the darker parts of the head or the wings before I actually introduce a bit of uh, um, Naples, not Naples yellow, sorry, um, Payne's gray or black. Okay, it's easier because it's not that heavy. Okay, let's, uh, that will just give me an idea how it will look. shape of the wings before I, I use a dark color, a very dark color. And because it's very, they're small, they're not big. It's not a, like, we're not really painting <clears throat> detailed birds. We're just painting a hint. Okay, let's take this wing. And I'm just using just a bit of uh, raw umber for now. Let's see. Shall we put some on his head? Yeah. Uh, 
a good sharp, good round brush um, is a uh, small, very small round brush. This is number zero. Now, I'm going to take again red, yellow, cadmium red light, cadmium yellow light. And a bit again of the raw umber. So, you know, the orange is not too strong. It's there, but it's not very strong. Wet my brush. Lean it. And then come over here and just mostly top part. It's better if you don't go all the way down where the belly is at the bottom. Keep it a little bit darker. In. Because the head is not showing, this one here, I'm going to add, I'm going to change a bit. I'm going to kind of give it round. Well, that's better. Can she see the head a bit? Leo? Yes. Why don't you lighten up the beak? Just the beat. I yeah, I will. I will. The yeah. On the one at the bottom here is a, no. bit, a bit a little bit trickier than this one here. This one is easy. <laughs> I'll try. Try to dark the lighten the beak a bit. It will help. This is now Payne's Gray. And um, I'm just going to put a bit of Payne's Gray on the wings. And the tail. I'm working uh, on a eight by ten, John. I don't know if I can lighten this beak. <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, it's very hard. Okay, now let's take a little bit of orange again. Raw umber, a little bit of raw umber. Trying to darken my orange bottom part. Mm 
see. I mean, this is this is yellow ochre right here. I'm just gonna kind of change the color a bit to more of a yellow in here with the orange. So the top part, I'm using a bit of yellow with red and um, a bit of yellow ochre. Okay, that's not bad. This one on this side, I need to put a bit of something right here. It makes it look like it's sitting with his claws. No, it's not, it didn't work. Okay, let's do something else. Let's do it in a different way. Okay, let's try another way. Let's try. Oh yeah, yeah. Really tiny, tiny, tiny. Okay, here. Let's try again. Yeah, maybe a hint of something, like legs or a little bit, okay. Okay. I think we're good. So anything that's bottom part of the bird, any in here is darker and on the top you will have a little bit of a brown, more brown on top here because that's where the light hits. Um, but I do have a combination of raw umber and um, Payne's Gray. Let's make this one here a little bit bigger. You're welcome to add more details if you like. Uh, uh, maybe. It depends on how big your canvas is. Let's do let's do this. Let's add a bit of so the, the wings look like they're overlapping. Alright. Right. All right. This is good. All right. Okay. So for the for these pots up here, I'm just using the leftover colors I have 
from the birds. So it's orange. I'm just mixing or um, making an orange using um, red and yellow. And then I'm putting in that red and yellow some uh, raw umber to darken the color. Um, I mean, Ooh. I can always add next when I do the terracotta color of the pots down at the bottom, I can always add a bit of that colored up here. I'm using a flat brush. It's a bright, small one. So it's easy to put these the colors fast. I need to highlight that shelves shelf up here, the shelf that is on the um, underneath the pots, the green one. So I'm going to use the same colors I used, which I think were cobalt blue and salt green, or any blue and green. Where's the salt green? I got it's really written down, but it doesn't matter. One of them, whatever we used. Yeah. It's just like a greenish, bluish color. So I'm going to grab whatever blue I have in here. And white. See if the highlight is enough, or maybe we should. Oh, no, it's not okay. More white. I'm using flat brush. It really doesn't have to be perfect. That's not going to be perfect and it shouldn't. It looks nicer this way. It's more, more whimsical.
Okay. This is good. Okay, for the ground, I'm going to use ultramarine violet and raw umber, and then I'll add white to this. So let's start with the dark one, which is it has a bit more ultramarine uh, violet in it than raw umber, and really big brush strokes. Nothing um, too detailed. This way we'll end up only with the uh, terracotta left to do. All right, let's do that. Okay, this is good. I'm going to let it dry and then I'll go over it with the highlight. All right, so this part is drying right now. I am going to use a uh, terracotta color again, just burnt sienna. I could put in it a bit of raw umber at this point just to darken my burnt sienna so I have room to highlight. It's just a burnt sienna, um, and I'm just going to put this way, all of the canvas would be covered, will be covered at this uh, point. So, oh, this one is not a terracotta, okay. I mean, right now it looks like it's not enough color in there, but once we start putting flowers, it's going to be really colorful. I don't want to work too much on these spots because I'm going to be highlighting this part. Okay, good. All 
right. Well, I think I can do that. Maybe. I'll try. See if I can highlight the ground. All right. So same colors I used before. Um, the uh, Ultramarine Violet and Raw Umber. I'm just adding more white to this color. Maybe, uh, maybe pick up a little bit of um, yellow ochre here. I just have it on the uh, canvas. Wow, this is really strong color. Light. Okay. Mix it. Why can I brush? Let's see. All right, let's create some highlights in here. Really, I the the this part of the canvas is not a focal point. Okay, so I'm I'm putting just big um, brush strokes. Uh, light is coming from the right to the left, so I'm trying to keep in mind that some parts are going to be highlighted and some parts are not. Okay, let's see this uh, this sign here. We'll cast a shadow, a bit of shadow on the ground. I don't want to do too much detail in here in terms of light and shadow. Just a bit is fine. Okay. There's a, a little bit of a step here. And I'm putting this not because it's an important detail. It's just, it's nice to see it. It's nice detail. And then I'm going to highlight step right here with a medium tone. So the lip or that, 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 part this part here is highlighted more than the other part okay that's good Again, try to do one more layer of highlights without lifting the color underneath because I'm not waiting. I should be waiting for the, the paint to dry, but I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to do it right now. And if it starts lifting, then I'll stop. And I'm just going to highlight 
more center part where the the stored you know the the stored front is or the booth I'm sorry the booth is again this is not detailed because there's a lot happen it's going to be a lot happening here we have the lights coming over here we have the flowers so this is just part just to complete that look but it's not a detailed I don't want to put detail but it's up to you like I, I don't think it needs a lot of detail but you know what if you feel like you want to put some go for it okay I should stop because I know I'm lifting the color now I'm, I'm lifting the paint underneath okay let's just leave it at this for now Okay, so I'm using here burnt sienna, yellow ochre, and white to fix or go over the sign on the side. And the reason I'm using burnt sienna is just because it's a bit more on the red side, which is nice uh, with the green behind it. There's so much green in there. Putting a bit of red, earthy red, is nice. Uh, it gives it a bit of warmth. All right. Good. All right. Let's do that. Let's take a bit of white, put it in with the yellow, and burnt sienna. The reason I'm putting yellow and burnt uh, yellow yellow ochre with white, and putting it in the burnt sienna, highlighting the burnt sienna, is just I don't want the burnt sienna to turn too pink. If I use white only, it might turn a bit too pink. Let me see. Yep, that's good. It's good, 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 good color. There we go. And side. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. All right. That's good enough. Put some writing on. We'll put some writing on it to make it less black. So I use black in here. Inside. All right. Next week we'll work on the plants, and then we're done. We should be done. Just a bit of, yeah, the flowers as well. Okay.